Hey everyone, this is Greg Ricks from BassFuzz.com here with another video overview for you. I've got the world famous Zvex Woolly Mammoth on tap today. Uh, for a full review of this pedal on my website, BassFuzz.com, just visit those extra sound samples, different basses used, etc. So, we've got a clean sound for you today. I've chosen to start with my passive P bass uh, with flats on it. It's a Squire with some modifications, simply because the Zvex uh, Woolly Mammoth doesn't play particularly well with uh, active basses. We will show you that in a little bit, though. So it's pretty basic. Got the four knobs here: um, volume, which I've preset, and EQ, pinch, and wool, which I've put at just 12 noon to get started. So EQ is pr fairly self-explanatory. More bass. More treble. The pinch knob is uh, basically a gate control. Um, if you turn the gate all the way down. Turn it all the way up. So it just pinches off the signal so it doesn't ring or do anything strange. The wool knob is fuzz. You might be able to hear a little added floor noise there. Notice with the pinch knob up, you don't hear any of that floor noise. Turn the pinch knob off. You can hear it again. fuzz actually it's nothing else really sounds like it um, which is both a pro and con sometimes uh, I think that uh, when you click on the Zvex Woolly Mammoth everybody knows you're clicking on the Zvex Woolly Mammoth who is familiar with the Zvex Woolly Mammoth that said uh, nothing else really quite sounds like it I've played a couple fuzzes that can get close get some similar sounds uh, but uh, it's definitely a, a, a unique uh, entity unto itself. It does command a very high price point in the marketplace. Uh, part of that is due to the, the, the very nice job that's done in getting the compact enclosure well packed. If you look inside one of these bad boys, it's, it's very nicely put together. There's room for a battery and it is um, uh, clean in terms of the assembly. So here we are with my... Uh, active jazz bass. The Zvex Woolly Mammoth is fairly notorious for not playing well with active basses. Uh, I'd like to divide the notion into hot versus active. Um, it doesn't seem to care whether it's a hot or a not hot active bass. Um, there are some pedals out there that don't play well with particularly hot basses, high output. This bass, though active, is fairly low on the output side, yet still does not play particularly well with the Zvex Woolly Mammoth. So it still works. It's not like it's not. But you'll see that there's a kind of a loss of low end, a little like sound to it. 
this last bass here is a Rob Allen uh, fretless mouse. Um, it's got a, a piezo pickup in the saddle down here. Uh, great bass, love it a lot. Now it's got that kind of classic -y, woody upright sound to it. Um, and you say, why would you put a fuzz pedal in that? And you say, I say, because you can. The preceding video has been brought to you by Coffee.